Hey everyone, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. This video, sponsored by, Monday.com. Managing a team, can be a difficult task. This is why Batman works alone. Introducing Monday.com. The Monday.com platform is a team management tool, that helps transform the way teams work together. It is a simple, but intuitive tool, that enables people to manage work, meet deadlines and build a culture of transparency. With a single glance, you can see your progress, and what steps need to be taken, to keep moving forward. This is a great way, to get a clear overview, of all your projects, and have your entire team aware of what's ahead. Monday.com is a centralized platform, for teams to manage every detail of their work, from high-level roadmap planning to the specifics of day-to-day -day tasks. Visit the link in the description, and sign up today. If you don't want to follow this tutorial, you can purchase this template from the link in the description. It will also help me to support this channel. So, let's get started, open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Glowing Audio Visualizer. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution, and a frame rate of 30. Let's keep the duration 30 seconds for this tutorial, but you should keep it the same as your audio file. Now the first step is to create a new solid. I am calling it the background. Now go to the effects and the presets. And search for the gradient ramp. Apply it onto the layer, and then change the end color of it. I am keeping this dark green blue shade, but you are free to use any color you want. Cool. Now change the ramp shape to the radial ramp. Please excuse this ugly banding, this is showing because of the YouTube compression. Click on this swap colors button, to switch the colors. Now go to the project window, and then import your audio file. Simply grab it, and place it on this project panel. And then place it into the timeline. Because we cannot see the music, so I am placing it below the background layer. Now right click on it and choose pre-compose. Let's call it Music Comp. And then click on Move all attributes into the new composition. And then hit OK. Now create another new solid layer. And this time I am calling it the Spectrum. Make sure to place it on top of all layers, and then again go to the effects and the presets, this time search for the audio Spectrum. This is an inbuilt plugin of After Effects. You don't have to download it from anywhere. Apply it onto the layer, and then adjust a few settings. First, change the end position value to 1120. As well as, change the start value to 960. This first value is half of 1920, which is the width of our frame size. It will align the starting point to the center. Now change the frequency band value to 200. As well as change the softness value to 0%. Let's change the color of it. You can choose any color you want, I am keeping the outside color, as the same inside color. Let's change the audio layer to the music comp. And it will start reacting to the music. Cool. Let's add more effect to it. Minimize it, to get some room and then go to the effects and the presets. Here search for the mirror effect. Apply it onto the layer. Now click on this center point. And then, click at the beginning, of this audio spectrum. 
it will disappear the spectrum right away, but don't worry, just change the reflection angle value to 180 degrees. See I told you. As you can see, we have a tiny gap between them. Which I don't want, so I am changing the first reflection value to 967. Cool. This is how it should look like now. Again go to the effects and the presets, and this time search for the CC radial fast blur. Apply it onto the layer. And then change the amount value to 90. Also, I am changing the zoom to brightest. Let's go back to the effects and the presets tab, and this time search for the fast blur. Apply it onto the layer. And change the blurriness value to 100. Now the important step. Go to the effects and the presets once again. And search for the CC sphere. Apply it onto the layer. And let's adjust a few settings. Open rotation, and change the rotation X value to 75 degrees. It will place the audio spectrum on top of the sphere. And it will be a real sphere, not a circle. Cool. Now open shading, and change the ambient value to 130. It will brighten the sphere. Let's add a glow to it. Go to the effects and the presets, and search for the glow effect. Apply it onto the layer, and now we are going to make it brighter. Change the glow radius value to 200. This glow will create some bending into the frame, which you can see right here. Let's fix it. Go to the project window. At the bottom of this panel, you will find this 8 BPC. It means the project is using 8 bit per channel color. We need to increase it. Simply press and hold the Alt key on your keyboard, and then click on it. It will change to 16 BPC. Now we have more colors to play with. Again go to the effects control tab, and now we are moving to the next step. Select this spectrum layer and make a duplicate of it. Let's rename this layer as Spectrum Down. Also, I am renaming this bottom layer as Spectrum Up. Now select this Spectrum Down layer, go to the Effects Control tab, scroll to the CC sphere, open rotation and change the rotation X value to 260 degrees. Cool. Now make another duplicate of this layer. I am calling it Spectrum Left. Again scroll to the CC sphere. Open rotation, and this time change the rotation Y value to negative 75 degrees. Perfect, let's make one more duplicate of it, and this time I am calling it Spectrum Right. For this layer, I am changing the rotation Y value to 75 degrees and it will become a complete sphere. Cool. Let's add a reflection to it. Select this spectrum down layer, and make a duplicate of it. I am calling it spectrum reflection. Place it on below of all spectrum layers, now press S, to open scale. Click on this link icon, to change the height and width separately. I am changing the Y scale value to negative 20%, and then use the shift, plus down arrow key, to place it right below the spectrum. Again go to the effects and the presets. And this time search for the fast blur. Apply it onto the layer, and adjust the blur amount. I am going to change the blurriness value to 50. Also, change the blur dimensions to horizontal. Cool. Let's do some color adjustments. Create a new adjustment layer, and call it Color Correction. Again go to the effects and the presets. And this time search for the curves. Apply it onto the layer, and then adjust a few settings. First, I am making it brighter, and then adding a contrast to it. It will create an S-curve. Now switch to the red channel and add a S-curve to it as well. Switch each channel one by one, and adjust the curve of it. Cool. 
Now the final step. Again go to the effects and the presets. And this time search for the glow effect. Apply it onto the layer. And change the glow radius value to 100. Let's make it 200 to spread out even more. Change the glow threshold value to 50%. In case you want to change the color of the spectrum, you can do it easily by adding hue and saturation. Simply add it on same color correction layer, and use the master hue value, to change the color of it. Ram preview this, and our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. Download unlimited After Effects templates, royalty free sound effect, stock footage, and more. Visit Envato Elements. Check the link in the description.